This is graded one. Hmm. So beautiful, isn't it? And this one is before. The grid output of your footage, I mean, it totally depends on your foundation. So I shot this footage with my uh, Blackmagic 6K Pocket, totally natural light. This is what I get. And, I, and I'm just want to show you how I do the balancing. So when I say balancing, what am I talking about really? Balancing the highlights, shadows, contrast, mid-tone, uh, white balance. And I believe this is the grid foundation here. This is my notary here. Don't, don't get confused. We're just going to focus right here. So if I just pop up my scope, I mean, this is this is where my footage uh, lies. So this is the mid-tone here. Uh, it's pretty much uh, not bad. And highlights and, and, and shadows, of course, they need to work. So if I take you through my notary here, this is my NR cast space transform in. This is my primary node. And secondarily, saturation. And look, this is where I'm going to focus on doing uh, the... The balancing of course i have the three power windows i'm going to show you why i have those three power windows uh color spans transform out of course a lot and final touch so i'm going to give the transform here uh so the transform as i said i've shot this with black magic 6k pocket so i'm going to do uh, my uh, transform accordingly uh, it's it's very important to understand what kind of camera that you, and, and what format you shot so in the output color space i'm going to give it davinci white gamut and output gamma i'm going to give it the davinci intermediate this is what i'm getting and then i just jump here on the color space transform out and then again input color space i'm going to give it the davinci white gamut input gamma uh, davinci intermediate of course output color space Break 709 and uh, output gamma I'm gonna give it 2.4 but we're not gonna stick with this for uh, I mean for so long so output gamma uh, 2.4 is just for now on the balancing when we reach to the uh, last point we're not gonna use this we're gonna change uh, from gamma 2.4 to something else I'm, I'm gonna show you there I mean look at my footage here if I, I hover my, my qualifier here on the mid tone here it's not bad at all I mean it's not bad at all. Even highlights, it's just that the shadows and contrast. These two here, they're gonna collaborate. Uh, they're gonna work together to do the balancing. So I'm gonna start with contrast from secondary here. So I just crank it a little bit up. Boom, just look at that. Look at what we're getting. Let me just uh, take down the highlights. This is what we're getting, okay? And now I can go back uh, to the pre and take a gamma up. So in the gamma here, uh, that means I'm going to work on, on the mid-tone. If I just crank it up and look at the mid-tone, you can see I'm getting something. You see? Look at that. Look at what we're getting. And then take the gain a little bit. Just a few stops. Don't do too much. You can always come back for more adjustment. I mean, if you follow the right foundation. Let's go to the curve here and do some magic on the on the shadow so this is my highlights of course and this is my mid tone and let's give it the contrast i mean look at the shadows now look at the sh look at what we're getting on the shadows did you love it let's come back again to the contrast there what do you think i mean i love it private maybe I can, I can take down a little bit down and then i can come back here on the pre primary and then I can crank up some gamma. Then I can lift up some shadows, maybe reduce some contrast and power. Take down some highlights. And then let's do uh, the saturation here. So the saturation here, I'm gonna, uh, from the color space, I'm gonna choose the HSV. I, on the coming tutorials, I'll show you how uh, when why I choose that and then I'm gonna get rid of channel 1 and channel 3 okay from here I can just crank up some gamma and then this is what I'm getting okay and then in the look here so I'm gonna give it a little bit of warm and that's what I'm getting and probably magenta a little bit that's what I'm getting I mean look look at that that's the look that's the mood this is before this is after so in the skin tone here we're gonna go on the curve this is where we're gonna get, um, I mean, our skin tone. So I'm just gonna select uh, this part here. I mean, it's it gonna tell me where, what I'm getting. So this is our, this is our skin tone, okay? 
Well, we're not gonna focus on the hair, teeth, lips, and black for now. It's just the the balancing. This, I mean, this is it. This is, you can almost use this. This can be like the final. I mean, you can you can literally use it. But trust me, I'm not I'm not done yet. So I'm gonna give it the power window just to stay focused on our subject. Uh, on the coming tutorial, I will show you how powerful this tool is. Crank down some gain. Boom. Look at that. This is before, this is after. I'm telling you. Let's track our power window. One of the things that I love about uh, DaVinci Resolve is the ability and the power that you have on the tracking. Another power window here, we can probably do some lights here. If you look at her hands, they're a bit dark. So just like, let's just give them some lights. I mean, look at that somewhere there and then another power window here i can put some juice here this is where the our light is coming from so let's just uh, get the direction from this that's, that's where the sun is coming from give it um orange okay don't worry we are not messing with it just give it this button here okay and then look at this this is before this is after. This is before. This is after. I mean, think of it. How how beautiful this is. So in the CST out here, now we we're, we're gonna get to the to the LART. So we're gonna change here output gamma to a Cineon film log, and this is what we we are getting. And then if we click the LART here, and we can just add our LART. Uh, this is my favorite here, but you can but there are plenty here you can go for. This is what we're getting. Let's do some noise reduction here. I mean, I'm happy for this one. I'm happy for this look. And then in the final touch here, let's give a contrast pop. Look how beautiful this is. This is where we came from. Uh, we did some collaboration uh, between the primary and secondary uh, nodes on the on the balancing, the saturation, the look, and the skin tone. And then we got here. And then after that, we we gave it the uh, the power window to focus on our on our subject. And then uh, we gave uh, some lights on our, on her hands. And then we gave we gave some juice uh, right here just to to spice it up. And then of course we changed the CST out from 2.4 to a scene on film log and then this is all good so we can so you can receive uh lots and then this is what we got i mean think of it and then we get some nra and then the final touch and then this is what this is this is where uh, we got i mean this is it i mean just just check this out. My name is Kitundu Jonathan. Kindly give me the like, smash the notification button, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comment what you want to learn next.